Hey Cancer, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So I'm going to do your reading for November 2018. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Uh, some of the messages may or may not resonate, so just take what works for you. Sorry for the delay. Um, if you request a personal reading for me, please know it's going to be a while before I get them out. Those of you who are waiting, um, have the remaining readings. Hopefully we'll get them out tonight, if not tomorrow. Okay, so thanks for your patience and waiting. Um, hold on, let me just shuffle these cards here. So this is for love. Remember the energy is fluid. So some of these messages you may hear might have already happened or could be currently happening or coming up. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off. Actually, let me pull the cards first and see what energy is coming out here. Okay, and so this reading has a lot to do with what's going on with the other person and you. So if you have someone in mind, um, or while I'm, you know, putting these cards down, try to think about who that person is and let that energy flow through. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Interesting, Cancer. All right, let's pull the overall love message for you guys for November. What is the overall love message for November for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Overall message for Cancer for November. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I feel like these two cards playfulness. That's nice. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So whether you're single or in a relationship, the importance for November is to try to be as playful and enjoying um, being happy. And you've got the soulmate card here. So if you're questioning if this person that you're thinking about, or if your soulmate is coming, yes, I'm seeing that here. Okay. So whoever you're thinking about, um, there's a playful energy with this person, the soulmate energy between you. Um, it's interesting because I don't really think this deck has twin flames. And somebody asked me earlier today, about the twin flame thing. And I feel like twin flames are very, pretty rare. Um, it's not that they don't happen, but I feel like we have more soulmates in life than we do twin flames. Some of you may agree with that, some not, it's okay. Okay, so the past position, the Prince of Swords is here. So let me just say before we even start, I'm seeing Gemini, I'm seeing um, Aquarius or Libra, Leo, I'm seeing um, Earth, Cancer, Pisces, definitely water. Yes. <laughs> yes, Siri, she talks to me. The past position is the Prince of Swords. So um, I feel like there may have been a lot of stalking. There may have been somebody whoever this person is watching you on social media, there may have been text messages, um, a lot of information, some truth came out in the past with this person or from them or back and forth between the two of you. There was some type of a connection in the past that was made that had um, truthful conversation and somebody, I feel like there has somebody that's been kind of watching. There may have been gossip or um, things that may have been said in the past. That energy was, is, was very significant in the past to you. It affected you in some way. Now, the present situation here is the lovers. So 
there is a connection that's going to be happening or may be happening in November. Again, as I said, it's fluid. So it may have already occurred or um, could be occurring. For some of you, like I said, it could be a Gemini. But I'm definitely feeling there's a connection. Now, for those of you who are dealing with an air sign, um, I feel like this person, whether you're dealing with an air sign or not, I feel like this person has something to tell you. They're very truthful and they're honest. They're not overly emotional, but they do want to connect with you either in a, like a love relationship or a type of committed relationship of some sort. So there may be, have been some type of expression about trying to reconnect or connect. There may have been some type of a conversation um, about connecting with each other in the past, bringing it into the future. I feel like, you know, the, the present situation of this person is that they do want a loving, committed type of a connection with you in whatever way. Okay. And their thoughts on the situation is they want to be truthful and uh, they are, you know, I feel like whoever you're dealing with or whoever you're thinking about, this person is honest. Um, they may omit certain things to you, maybe so as not to cause pain or hurt. And, and to you, that may have made you feel like they were not being truthful. But I feel like they, they just, they're, they're the type of person that the things that they say, they don't write extremely long paragraphs or long written out texts or things like that. They just say one or two things and it's direct and it's honest and it's truthful. And that's who they are. Okay. What this person thinks of you, they feel like you are very grounded. You are capable, independent. I'm seeing cancer, you as being someone when they think of you, they think that you are financially independent or you're someone who's full of abundance. Some of you as females, you may be mothers, um, but they view, as you, they view you as very stable and a bit reserved, a bit quiet. Like it's kind of like you're, I feel like you're very focused on your gains. So if some of you are physically, uh, you work out or you, um, you know, you're in the gym a lot, or some of you may be in some, some type of competitions that have to do with being an athlete of some sort. Uh, they view you this way. They view that you're successful. If you're not into that, I mean, even if it's not like a competition of some sort to make money, even if you, uh, some of you have actual, um, you have a gym, some of you own, own a gym I'm picking up. Some of you are in real estate. Some of you are working banking. You're just quite focused on your money. Anything to do with career or anything to do with um, finances, building, creating, they, this person, I feel they, they feel that you are a stable person, a stable partner. You're someone that they can work with. I don't feel like you're overly emotional, like you're not, um, you know, emotionally unstable at all. You may feel that way about yourself, but when they think of you, they don't think of you that way. Um, how they feel about you, the sun card is here. So they feel very positive about you. They This person feels you are warm, cheery, you're bright open, honest, playful. And, you know, if you're giving off that energy in November, that's what, definitely what they're seeing here. There's kind of a childlike quality about you when they, when the way they feel about you, there's something about you that they just really, you bring something out of this person because they, they're not overly playful you know, they're, they're more mental. They're more, mm, you know, everything is like 
in their thoughts. You know, they're not, they don't have that sun type of energy like you do. You, you, you shine and that's how they, when they, you know, their feelings towards you is that, you know, it's like you are bright. You're very bright, very open. I'm, I'm just picking up. Give me a second here. They just, they feel you're a very positive person for them, positive force in their life, in whatever way it might be. And they feel they can be open with you as well. They feel they can talk with you about things because there's something about you that allows that to happen because you're not, uh, I don't see you being judgmental at all here. The, you know, I, I feel like you're just, you're, you're observant and you listen, and you take things into consideration. Okay, so this person has the nine of cups. This is what this person wants, happiness with you. The nine of cups is contentment. This is um, having all these wishes come true. And, and I feel for you, Cancer, this person feels that way about you, that you are a wish come true for them. And it's even difficult for them to believe, actually, that they've never met anything like you before. And I know some of you are listening and saying, well, if that's true, why, why are we not together anymore? I feel like um, November, I, I can't remember what your last month's reading was, but I feel like November is like a realization. This sun card here is showing me revelation. Things are being revealed about how they feel about you, which is very important. I don't think this person really paid attention to that. I, I kind of feel something happened. Cupid's arrows struck somewhere along the line. And, you know, during this Venus retrograde, what's going to be ending in about 10 days at the time that I'm uh, recording this, that's the period of actual realization about our relationships or our connections. And since this reading has to do with this other person, I do feel that this is a realization that has come to them about you. And they've been watching you. And I feel like them watching you has caused them to realize, wow, I'm really, I'm really connected to him or her. I'm really crazy in love with this person. In fact, so much so that I, I want to make this decision. I want us to make a decision to try to be together. Now, what you need to know about this person, they have the moon card. So they, they, again, as I was saying, they don't really share their emotions. Like they're deep, deep, vulner that vulnerable spot. They keep things hidden. They do keep secrets. Uh, they do feel things very em deep, emotionally deep, but they don't share too much. And you might already know that about this person, but it's just something that you need to be aware of if there's going to be reconciliation, which I do feel there could be. Um, because I, I feel like if you're going to connect with this person again, they, they don't, they don't overly express their emotions in the way you do, you know, and they have some things. I feel what you need to know about them is that they will slowly shed light on how they feel about you. Perhaps during this, perhaps now or throughout the rest of the month of November, there will be some emotion, some information about how they feel that will begin to actually shed light on the connection that you have and things will begin to make sense. Okay, your advice here is the Page of Cups. So I feel like um, it's okay for you to reach out to this person, to send a message, to say hello, something sweet, something nice, innocent, uh, a small expression of love in some way. 
uh, flirty type of messages, as I was saying here, playful kind of a message. I, I do, because Cancer, I do feel this is your soulmate. This, you know, this card showed up for a reason. There is a connection here with this person and it's been difficult, but you have learned a lot about yourself in regard to this connection. And the Princess of Cups here, it's really just telling me for you to stay in your emotional place, stay true to who you are, because that is truly what they love about you. You don't have to change anything about you. You don't have to change your hair. You don't have to try to gain their validation. You don't have to do better, work harder, just anything. You are perfectly fine the way you are. And your advice is to stay in that place to validate yourself because they see you that way. They feel that way about you. And so you may just not really have ever heard it from them or you don't really, you, you may ha have just been doubting, but you're doubting because they aren't an overly emotional person and you're doubting because of this moon card because they, they keep things hidden. They don't say a lot. Um, when they do, it's short and sweet, but I, I feel that they want to connect with you. They want something real with you now. Or again, if this, for some of you, this, if this is a reconciliation, this is not really for singles. Um, just so you know, but I do have a singles read for November in my um, playlist. So you can check that out. Now the outcome here is the Knight of swords. So there will be movement in November with this person, there could be travel. Um, there could be discussion of travel since swords have to do with communication. So sometime at the end of November, I would expect some type of a message about this person coming towards you or you going towards them to try to have this love connection. Now, you know, for some of you, this doesn't necessarily have to be committed. This could be a friends with benefits that you're in, or this could be uh, just a connecting with someone and embracing the feelings and the love and the affection. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to turn into marriage or commitment during November, but I am seeing movement towards something beautiful between two people. Okay, so I don't feel, I feel as long as you stay in your element, you stay as who you are, that, you know, your loving, affectionate side and keep growth um, as your foremost priority in your life and keeping stability, emotional stability. Uh, I feel that's actually going to draw, keep drawing that person towards you. And because you bring them happiness and that's what they want from you. And if you haven't been connected to this person, this is what they're wanting. This is what they're looking, because you bring that for them. And they, they, they may have been feeling a lack of that in their own lives, but they feel that when they're with you. Okay, Cancer. So that's, it's kind of a short reading. I have a lot of readings to catch up on. Um, so thank you so much for listening and I will see you guys next month. Okay. Bye.